Hello, everyone. Uh, we are in person. Yes. Wow. Um, welcome back to the channel. This isn't a normal review video this time um, because there's been all kinds of news over the past sort of three-ish months, I guess. Um, some of it official news, which we'll talk about first. Um, some of them have been rumours, which we'll go into sort of in the second half, just in case people want to not know. Although there's nothing about the new episodes, really. Um, so, yeah, this is general Doctor Who slash uh, Hooniverse updates, I guess, because mm -hmm. it's not all necessarily about the main show. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we'll be discussing probably our thoughts about the upcoming series and the official news from the series. So if you are trying to avoid any and all spoilers about it, then I would say do not watch Good this luck. video. <laughs> yes. Um, so we'll start then with, uh, I guess, the sort of, the quote unquote biggest news, um, although I don't think it went down that way, Doomsday. Um, the thing even Russell T Davies didn't post anything about. <laughs> mm. uh, so uh, you, people might remember that a while ago there was Time World Victorious, which was this multi multimedia, I guess, mm. um, event which happened across books and comics and big finish um i think time fracture was a bit to do was it it wasn't a bit to do with tunnel of victorious uh, the ood uh, time Brian fracture Ude. is yeah. in yeah, yeah so there's a little bit there um they tried to make brian happen yes unfortunately he didn't he was Poor fine in the books um i think brian died when we went he did die in our one yeah unfortunately i don't know if he dies in every time fracture we'll never know anymore Aww. um but uh yes this is this is a new one um i can't remember the Actress's name, Suze. It's some, it's a some comedian, isn't it? Yeah, it's comedian. I can remember. She's very funny on Twitter. Like that thing too. Yes, um, she's got a good social media presence. She is playing uh, an assassin who has twenty four hours left to live, and she needs to find find the doctor to stop her dying, not kill. Not I don't know if they confirm if she needs to kill the doctor. Mm, I think it's I just, think just find. find and please, please save my life. It'd be hard to root for the main character. Yes, <laughs> so, I want to kill yes. The so they the way they pitched it is there's probably going to be about twenty four stories, I guess. Yeah. Because they said every hour is a new story or whatever. Um, they've now announced that uh, the first one's going to be a comic, two comics um, with Missy. Michelle Gomez is Missy from series 9 to 10? 8, nine eight, eight, ten. eight and 10? 8 to 10? Of course yeah. she is. Um, sure, why not? What, what do you think? It, it had a little bit of a tease, didn't it, on the Sunday? Like something's coming and everyone's like, oh my god, what's it going to be? And then. Maybe there was a slight disappointment to it. Yes. Uh, I think after that announcement, it then things started popping up on my Amazon and stuff for pre-orders. So people mm. kind of might have known what it is. I think it's always an idea that's... The idea is always going to be better than actually what the thing is. Um, like If people are into that thing, fine. Um, but Time of Victorious didn't interest me at all. This mm. interests me even less. Um, I, I, I would like to think they've probably learnt from Time of Victorious, maybe not just like, you need to buy this glow-in-the-dark t-shirt to get a vital yeah. part of the story. Hopefully yeah. they don't do shit like that, because mm. no one's buying that no. t-shirt. No. Um, so I'm hoping maybe they've taken some more time to cohesively plan it all out, because I don't even know what the story of Time of Victorious was, and I'm on Doctor Who Twitter all the time. I mean, yeah, I've, I've read, because there was so much for it, I only, I've only read the two. There was also too much, two, I think. Yeah, I've only read the two books and one of the comics, I think. Um, and I, I think the two books had the bulk of the story in it, or that yeah. you needed, and I can vaguely remember what it was. It was a while ago, but I think they're taking from um, Star Wars are doing their High Republic stuff, and mm. all of that is based on novels, comics, and sort of young adult books. Um, I think if it was just books and novels, it would be fine, but I think when it goes into online media, you know, videos, and then big finish which is ridiculously expensive anyway yeah. i think it really sort of hampers the story but yeah because i it's obviously gonna, it, they're branching out and targeting a lot of different age ranges with mm. all the different products but also at the same time it's going to be alienating yeah. a lot of people i think what what didn't help with this one is that the production value on the they had 10p in the dream yes teaser. yes on the on, on look the look teaser with her, her it costume looks so cheap no it didn't look great the 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 pictures make it look better. Yes. But the video, it looked, it did not look great. And I think that sort of, especially when we've had so many sort of big announcements and big sort of news coming out from the official account. Uh, they they shouldn't have done like, a, oh, what's coming up tomorrow? Yeah. Thing. I think that was a misstep. 
Yes. Just dropping it. Yeah. Know, it would have been fine. Yeah. Um, there is some blame to be put on just Doctor Who fans in general for always expecting yes. too much from everything. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I do think for this particular thing, surely they would have known like it's not going to be as like well received as like. Yeah, it's. I think especially with it, especially with, when they'd set up previous teases of like yes. what they've announced about the new era, and so with far. it being the 60th coming up, people would assume that that's going to be the yeah because they use like the same like two hearts plus yeah. thing. Yeah. So people are like, oh, it's going to be like a big announcement to do with that, and, and it, it wasn't. Isn't really. Um, no, I mean it's 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 for the 60th, isn't it? It is a 60th yeah. thing. It's also like you're gonna probably watch or read or listen to about 10 percent of <laughs> yeah. I this mean, if, thing. if they're gonna do novels and they're gonna be good novels, I'm I'm all for them. But I think it was a bold move launching them with no known Doctor Who connections. Yes, it's not as if like Time of Victorious, you like okay, so this is the eighth, ninth, and tenth Doctors. Great, mm. I know that. Like, this was a completely new person. Yeah, they really should. I think they just needed a stronger first impression than yeah. what they've done. Um, and, you know, I think the fact that RTD didn't even post about it or tease it or anything, mm. I think that kind of says it all about, you know, how hyped he is about it. <laughs> yes. Um, and he hypes up everything to do with Doctor Who because yeah. that's his job. Um, so, yeah, it's not for me. Um, hopefully it turns out better than Time of Victorious did. And I, I think they would have learned some of those mistakes and corrected that it seems like they are pacing it a bit better and they're not just everything throwing once. everything at you and mm-hmm. having like 50 different things you need to buy to apparently get the full story so you know it's gonna be one of those things that you just kind of come back to when it's all said and done and reflect yeah. on it's really. like the binging of like a netflix show when it's when it's coming out weekly yeah you can see where it, you know you have to be willing to see where it's going but mm-hmm. also i don't think you can necessarily blame for being like well that's a weird start <laughs> yes. um so yeah it, it's it's never been a thing that concerns me anyway particularly when i can't afford any of it anyway so no you know there's that but also that idea of like crossing across multimedia and doing all that you know i think it's a fun concept but in execution i think it just never is going to work so um it's not for me but if people are excited for it then good for them i guess it's kind yeah. of my own thoughts i'm intrigued to see what I think what they announce and what they do with it will interest me more. Yeah. Um, I think the first sort of the Missy comic, I think, vaguely has me interested. I'm not going to be there like, yes, I'm buying it day one. I'm but, glad they bought a character. Like, yes, seems... but once it's in like Forbidden Planet for a for a bundle set for like six quid, then yeah, I'll probably I'll probably pick it up. Mm. Um, like I did with one of the Time of Victorious comics, I bought it, read it on the train back home, and was done with it. Because that's the other thing is you can spend so much money, especially on comics. And I know you know comics mm. is a big thing, but if you buy one of those sort of thin, not paperback, but you know the bundles of Doctor Who comics, you'll you'll read them in half an hour and you'll have spent ten quid on it. And it's like, are you getting your money's worth? That's the yeah. thing about comics in general, but especially Doctor it's, Who. It's ones, definitely you know. it's like when they used to do like the volumes, the, the DVDs. Yes. You know, yeah, eventually you realise like, let's just wait for the complete box. Set. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why are we doing this? And I think that's kind of what this kind of thing would be. Yeah. Like I'm going to wait until everything comes out see what I actually need to buy and then yeah. get it because that's probably going to save them like yeah. extra quick. I think, I think any any probably novel that they put together with any of the known characters, whether that's a Doctor or a companion, I'll probably try and pick up. Mm. But I don't know how many novels they're going to do for that. If it could only be one, only Time of Victoria's only had two, I think, um, mm. for All Flesh is Grass and then another one. Um, and I bought both of those when they came out, but mm. I didn't. You know, I was in no rush to buy anything else. Plus, it's all, all I mean, it, it's different. I don't know which Doctor they're going to be searching for. That's been sort of kept under wraps, whether that's going to be the 13th yeah. or I, I 14, do quite 15. like that side of it. Um, mm. It's kind of like going into the power of the Doctor. We didn't know who she was exactly going to change. I mean, kind of. Know. But we didn't know. Yeah. We weren't sure, like, yeah. or 100% it's going to be David mm. or shooting. Mm. So I, I kind of like, like, oh, which Doctors could turn out for yeah. Doctor. I mean, it's going to be David Tennant. But... <laughs> we'll at one point, I can guarantee It's it. going to be David Tennant. Yeah. But um, yeah. I, I do like that side of things but maybe you know i think they probably needed to do more to introduce us to this apparently like core central character yeah um initially more than you know a very very low budget Teaser. hi i'm i'm yeah not very tough. i'm doomed dooms i'm doomed i'm i'm doomed the world's greatest assassin the universe's greatest yeah. assassin maybe show us that don't tell us yeah that. yeah they right. complain that chibnall did that no, <laughs> oh, you know. no. Uh, so you know there's that discourse yes but that's yeah. that's my two cents no. hopefully it will be good but even if it is it's not something that personally interests me no i think that's fair enough um so that was sort of the main big news um the sort of next one that's come out more fairly recently is um the swinging 60s are back baby this is why i'm here um so first of all we got the 
casting announcements of Jinx Monsoon. Yes. Um, who is a American drag queen. Yeah. Um, and drag race twice, I believe. Yeah, won RuPaul's Drag Race US twice, I think. Um, and was recently starring as, oh, somebody in Annie in Broadway. Would it be Miss Annie then? Yeah, I think it's that one. Is that just okay. mean of me to assume? Uh, yeah, I can't remember who. Uh, someone in Annie. She's been in that. She's not been Annie, obviously. Unless um, I'm thinking of Paul the Great, because he was playing Annie. Annie yeah, maybe. I'm not playing Miss Annie again. I think it might be, yeah, maybe that's one thing. Either way, she was definitely in a Broadway show and it was doing very well um, with her. I, I think I do remember reading something about that. Um, yeah. I know for sure she was doing Broadway. Was um, it Chicago? Yeah, I, I could just name every musical, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Cats? No. It, I remember it was a sellout run. Yes, yes. So, and a lot of that was uh, you know, put down to her it's being a good guess. Yeah. Um, and so we were like, okay, that's interesting. She's playing a villain. Well, no, they didn't say that. They, first no, of all, they said that's that just the main character was yeah, in it. Because we didn't talk about it at the time, because neither of us knew. Yeah, we, was. Was. we had no information. So, you know, we can... It would have been yes, two minutes. Yes. Thing. Um, well, let's see. And, yeah, and now they have been filming in Newport, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and they did her costume announcement. Uh, and they basically confirmed, villain! Powerful villain. The most, the most powerful, powerful villain, villain yet, yet. As they and all are when they get announced. I mean, to be fair, they're always yet, because they can always, you know, another powerful villain could come along. So, it's, you yes. know, in theory, they're always the most well, powerful just, until somebody else comes along. just keeps diminishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hey, they're always powerful the until the next one. <laughs> yeah. Just say it's a new villain. Yeah. yeah. Just say the yeah. most powerful villain yet. But, um, yeah, she's got a, a, a bit of an orange hair, a sort of piano keys... The Almost costume like suits very interesting. Yes. Um. So we will immediately we're thinking, hmm, a musical episode perhaps. It would, you know, it could kind of make sense. Mm. Being on Broadway, um, you know, there's all this costume. So we're like, okay, and then it's from the villains. Interesting. And then uh, Russell posts it on Instagram and says, yeah, not everyone's going to come out alive of this. So immediately you're thinking, is is Ruby Sunday a one series and done? Probably not because she's quite young, and I don't think she's. It's only her second like main acting role. Yeah, so. it really is going to depend on like how well it's received, especially like with, with Disney and stuff. They might yeah. just be like, "Oh, here's other roles that you might do." So yeah. I, I don't think Shuri's going to be around for very long. No, well, no, I can't imagine he'll do more than a couple of seasons. He no. might. I mean, he might surprise us and do like ten, but I can't be, imagine that. I've been said that'd be great. He's done what he's like, yeah, don't yeah. <laughs> but he could only do one, and you know, he could only do the first series and. And be finished, and you know, if he wants to do that, fair enough. As long as they're yeah. good, as long as it's good, and it's fine. But um, work for Chris. <laughs> well, exactly, and yeah, so she's gonna be a villain. Um, again, not much known, and then literally yesterday, two days ago, um, they were like, oh, we're filming uh, his new outfits, and they had some nice stylized photos with um. So we've, officially, we've seen like his. Like and his one costume, one with the orange like, jumper. Here I am, but then baby. He's been filming and he's had like loads of different events. Yes. So now this is like the second like official look. At yes, costume. because I think somebody. I don't know whether they're always planning on. I get the impression they're always planning on showing this costume off. But mm. somebody, I think, on set they took a picture. Yeah. yeah. Somebody took a picture on set and put it on Twitter, and then about an hour later they were like, "Here we go." Here's so whether that was a reaction, whether that was whatever, because then later on in the evening they they did some more shots that were sort of more. Yeah stylized rather than just sort of against a wall um and so this is shooting in a nice pit, bright blue pinstripe suit um with a bit of an afro and uh Millie, the afro is good i know I, I want some i want some context as to how he can grow his hair and that quickly basically unless i mean maybe yeah maybe yeah, she's just different hairs just, like just um like, like in a lego batman movie where all the like the outfits shuffle across and you just turn, just turn the doctors it just puts it on. yeah yeah maybe yeah um and then uh millie gibson is in a sort of a black outfit with like the the those white leather boots that are so cliche of the 60s mm-hmm. um a lot of people have compared it to um austin powers and his <laughs> yeah. sort of outfit yeah. in uh in the second one um, yeah. Which is fair enough. I mean, it's, I don't. It's I, I do get huge idiots land some vibes from. Yes. That. I don't. Yep. I don't really know why because it's, it's like it's a, a decade later. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? If you see the red brickwork like street, yeah. it Im- immediately thinks of. That and episode. you know, like the Doctor and Rose did both like dress up in that yes. episode, for that which they don't do no, that often. No. So maybe it's it's kind of that. Yeah, it's a bit of that. So you know, we don't know whether this. You know, I get. I'm sort of going off. Russell also posted about a bad wolf party. Last night, I think, yes. which gets gives me the impression they've wrapped on the series now if they're having a party. Mm. Um, so my immediate, yes, I think David Tennant's filming reshoots today for the sixtieth. Oh well, there I you think go. Think I've then. seen that on Twitter today. Um, so this gives me the impression that maybe this was the series finale. 
that they were filming. They um, have been filming for a while, haven't they? In this eight yes, episodes, so yes. Because it, it, it said they were back done. on set, so I assume this was just to come back and finish whatever. Yeah. Um, they had like an Easter break, didn't they? So this kind of makes me think, you know, if this is a finale, what role is Jinx playing? Is she going to be a returning villain or a new villain? Yeah, could it be like a Missy type role where she had a lot of cameos in like earlier episodes and yes. then is the villain in the finale? Yes, because I think. What I've said is I think it would be a mistake to make her the master. The master needs so to be rested for a while. But it could be any, well, it could be anyone. It could be anyone. It could be any evil time lord. It could just be a brand new villain that we have nothing to know yeah. about. We're gonna have a year and a half still of like it's Rani, it's the master, yes, it's yeah. this person yeah. who's been in it before. I would be I if I'd be very surprised if it's the master considering I hope it's not an evil time lord or time lady. No. Like, Let's just leave that for a while. <laughs> I think if they were to wanted to introduce other Time Lords, I think I'd probably be happy with it. But it would yeah. need to if play it's a new a... character. Yeah, I think. But yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> you didn't save me. <laughs> God, what, what a twist. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm intrigued to see where this goes. There's also the the dream maybe of many many Who fans of a musical episode. Um, I saw someone on Twitter being like, oh, she was singing on set. And I'm like, does that mean that she was singing in the take? Does that mean that she was just flapping around? Yeah, Is this going to be a musical episode? I suggested that maybe it's going to be set around the Beatles in the 60s with yeah. music. And all so that you have to thing. assume, like, because they're all filming this at the same time, like, Jinx Monsoon must be the villain of that 60s one. Yeah. You'd assume. Yeah. And also, I think they must have thought that her outfit would get leaked on, on set. Because that's really the only reason why they post about the costumes and the casting is because they're going to be yeah. on location. Yeah. Um. And I think she was on location at the same time that she was filming this, this sixty of uh, the sixty sixty sixties stuff. Sixties stuff. Um. So it, you know, it, 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 we don't know. This could, you know, if this is the finale, we might not know until yeah. next next I mean, September. Yeah. It, it could even just be, you know. For some reason, this is episode four, and they just yeah because TV shows always film up all the film for production order. reasons. Yeah. Maybe it's they don't have one. access to this location yeah. until now. Yeah. So for all we know, you know, it might not even be that. So a festive special. Who can say? But yeah. um, I'm really, really excited to see whatever the final mm. point of this episode is. Yeah. Like, we have like on set pictures and stuff before, and obviously it's not going to be how it looks in the final episode. But we have that shitty looking bug thing. Yeah. And I'm like, what on earth is yeah. that? Um, so to see something like tangibly like this looks good now yeah, already yeah. and they've like made it all official and released and stuff it's yeah. very exciting to see what that's going to be about yeah. and it's an era of Doctor Who that they don't go to that often I think and not often enough anyway no. so um, but I'm it really is, excited but it that. is another story set on Earth though so oh we don't know oh that's true no we don't know it could just be a 60s scene planet that looks yeah. like Earth you never know <laughs> um, but yeah so that's that's all the sort of um, the newest officially confirmed stuff the the one that was confirmed a while ago, which will lead into some rumours, is uh, Kate Stewart is back. Um, I've forgotten no, the. Well, it's definitely name. not a rumour. Uh, no, that's the official official news. Is I've forgotten actually his name. Gemma Redgrave. Gemma Redgrave. There you go. She is returning in series fourteen as Kate Stewart, uh, Kate Lethbridge Stewart, if you will. Um, which I I don't I definitely wasn't expecting. It's a pleasant surprise. Yeah. I mean, Certainly, I didn't think it was going to be so soon that they brought no, characters back from previous eras. No, especially because you know, she. I thought you know, at the end of at the end of um, Power of the Doctor, that's fine. I thought Russell was going to have a clean break and not sort of like after the sixtieth at least not acknowledge anything that mm. had gone on. So it's um, like the first year. Yeah, exactly. Take, like, the series eleven approach to it. Yeah, maybe not quite as extreme. No, exactly. And I sort of thought that's strange that they that they that they bring her back in, you know. But she's it's good to have I think that that through line of. From literally from Matt Smith's era now, yeah, all the way through to. She's literally Metro. like when this airs, you know, it's twelve years that she's been. Yeah, which is the show. a fairly a fairly lengthy time. Mm-hmm. Um, the only sort of the only thing we know is she's back and she was filming with 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 Sunday with Ruby Millie, Sunday yeah. with Sunday Ruby Millie Gibson Millie, <laughs> Millie Sunday um, <laughs> Gibson Sunday yeah uh, filming so, there and you know there's been all sorts of rumors about that one. Are they related? Is it a is it a mother daughter situation? They're both blonde. It could be. <laughs> They're both blonde, so it must um, be. So I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I'd necessarily be be uh, against that. Um, you know, I think they could do something cool with it. Maybe that that Kate is like trying to infiltrate the TARDIS or something and needs needs a companion or you know maybe the Doctor does something in the sixtieth and he needs to be like reined in or something and so she sort of goes look go and see if you can. Tag along yeah, it'll be interesting to see like how she gets involved mm. 
because um, it was also yeah. filmed around the same time they were doing this all like voting thing because um, the other yes. guy was announced as well so, uh, so, yeah. a Welsh actor was announced that will be in her face uh, you, well, you, well, um, again you assume and yeah and the fact that we haven't you know she wasn't shooting with shooty yeah at the time because obviously he was still filming sex education when they were mm-hmm. filming these things mm-hmm. so you know it'll be is, it, is it a Dr. Light story where it's just exactly is it Dr. You know, Light could this be the first episode where Millie's trying to track down the doctor and Kate's like don't trust him. Don't go near him. He's dangerous. You know, she's yeah, the client. I want to see Clyde, her do what uh, Rose did. Like, yeah, Google yeah, exactly. Doctor, <laughs> doctor Tardis, <laughs> Blue Box. Um, I mean, you know, could it be the same thing? Could that be, you know, Kate being like, "Look, I, I've seen yeah. you trying to find." Because cool Kate's like, it just introduces them. Yeah, you know, I mean, you never know. It could be that. She, like, but, them and especially because it makes sense for her to be contacting either a companion if that's when she is already, or a future one because she's obviously doing that with the companion circle that we saw at the end of power. So I'm glad that that also means that could open up doors to other things. Yeah. Um, and speaking of opening up doors to other things, uh, this is unconfirmed, completely rumored, mm. um, but has been reported on by a lot of like big media outlets. I think deadline and variety. We're talking about it. So yeah. for them to be involved, you know, it's a big thing. Yeah. Um, there could be a unit spin-off led by Gemma Redgrave. Um, and then if that is the case, it kind of makes sense for her to be in the show now to sort of then go, all right, bye. And yeah, do her own just thing. setting her up to like... Yeah, you know, similar to um, Ahsoka in The Mandalorian where it's like, and Boba Fett yes. in The Mandalorian where they're sort of there and they have an episode and you see them and then it's like, oh, and you can go. see them more in this episode. Um, and I think I like that because that, again, opens the door to having previous companions return. Yeah, very in, much in so. Unit, Power the Doctor you know, had, had Kate make all those connections, so mm-hmm. they could easily, you know, they don't even have to crowbar them in. I think she even doesn't she even say it. that she might recruit yeah. some of them. So we could get, we could finally get the John Bishop return that we all want. <laughs> finally, um, in his entire he, he year of absence, yeah, he could return. <laughs> um, you know, we can have that. I think um, in the Bannerman Road big finish box sets. I think uh, with Luke coming to those. He's allegedly wearing a unit patch in his mm-hmm. cover art for that, so there's a chance he could return to live action. There's so much stuff they could do, and especially with the unit having, unlike Torchwood, units being the presence throughout the whole, not the whole 60 years, but you know, for a good length of time spanning Classic Who into New Who, so they are able to pull from deeper cuts than what they what Torchwood could do because there's more depth there yeah. and less baggage with the actors for now. Um, yes. But would you would you watch a unit spin off? What you know what what does it need to be to like capture your attention? Yes. When 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 they announced it, when the rumor stuck, I'm like that is like the basic bitch like when you would pitch. So, it was rumored like even in, during like series one to four they were like yeah. Unit so spin-off. you know it kind of makes sense. Um, I, I think unit work better when they're just recurring. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know if it's like a six episode show then that's gonna be fine and everything. Um. So, you know, it, it just depends on what story they have to tell with it, really. Yeah. Because I think Torched worked overall. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of like a separate team of people mm-hmm. doing very similar vibes to Unit. So they just had sex more. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I, th- I think it absolutely can work. And I, I do really like Kate. So if she's leading it, I think that'd be interesting. And, you know, if it opens the doors to getting some of the companions back or seeing more of, like, Teague mm-hmm. in a race or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I think that'd be a really fun idea. Um so yeah, maybe get Osgood back in it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I think it is you know very much an idea that's been thrown around for decades now. Yeah. Um, so it could definitely work. And you know, John Pertwee's entire era unit were there the yep. whole time. Yeah. Um, and then they kind of faded them out after that. So um, you know, it, it definitely does work having them around full time. Um, but having them around full time, I guess, means it's still Earth based stuff. So. I wouldn't want an Earth-based spin-off of that unit and then Doctor Who is always on Earth as well. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it would maybe encourage them to do more things. And to piss off. To piss off and yeah. do other, yeah. get to other planets and stuff. So if that's how it works, that'd be great. Otherwise, it's kind of, I guess, overexposure of Earth-based stuff again, mm-hmm. um, which I don't really want. Unless they do the whole um, the Marvels thing where it turns out unit got a secret space base. Yeah. Which, I mean, I mean that, that would definitely, that, I think that would change things up so it's being, oh, this is just Torchwood but with a different organisation, having them in, in yeah, space. Yeah, I, I think it does more. need to offer something that a previous spin-off hasn't already offered. I mean, I mean, you maybe could make the point that maybe Torchwood would have come back if it wasn't for certain issues yeah. with some of the main cast. Or yeah, at least one maybe of the main, it still well, will. I mean, between some of the main cast. And it could still come back, you know, but um, 
uh, maybe this is the easier one. I think Kate is a big fan favorite character. I think a lot of people when she came back in Flux and Power were like, yes, this is great. More of her. Yeah, that was a huge surprise when she showed up in the next time trailer for Flux because they yes. hadn't obviously announced that. No. So that was really cool. Um, and yeah, this is all stuff that they have announced. We don't know. There could be more that they've kept under wraps. There almost definitely is more that they've kept under wraps. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, one thing that, that may still be under wraps but is also, also rumoured, um, Stephen Moffat may be returning. Maybe, maybe returning, maybe. If um, anyone could convince him, it would be Russell. Yes, I think this was another one that's been reported by like the bigger media outlets like Deadline and things like that, um, saying that he's been like spoken to by Russell and you know, insider sources been like, yeah, Russell's been the one that's convinced him and all that stuff. Yeah, he's, he's, just... he's read all the scripts and stuff, so he's yeah. very in tune. Clearly, him and Russell T. Davis quite are like that. Even so. Chibnall is quite, you know, they're yeah. all three little close friends. Yeah. Um, and Moffat's just finished his uh, the Unfriend forged its Broadway run. show. No, yeah. is West End. West End. West End. Is it? Um, but yeah, he's just finished that um, with Mark Gattis as well. Um, and I mean, why not? You know, a lot of his stories for Russell. You know, a lot of his stories in. Russell Davis era are known as being some of the best stories of that era. You know, Blink, um, kind of the fireplaces were of his, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Empty Child, Doctor Dances, Charles, Doctor the Dances. libraries, two thousand. Yeah, just, exactly. So there's loads, loads in there that people really like, and I think you know, whatever you think of the Moffat era, I think a lot of that backlash towards that is more people just forgetting what it is. Yeah. And not like we've been rewatching it and we sort of go, oh, hang on a minute, this is actually better than what we thought it would be. At least for me, well. and for some of the episodes <laughs> for you, you've been like, well, especially the whole back end of series six, we were all like, wow, this is actually that pretty was, good. Yeah. Um. So I think people, you know, I think you'd definitely be able to return. He's not writing Sherlock anytime soon. So never again. Why not? I mean, it would. Obviously, I assume you'd be happy to see him return, or would you be more like, a, <laughs> no? Um. Yeah. Um. So I, I think. Obviously, he's my favourite Doctor Who writer. Mm. Um, I love how he envisions the show. Um, part of me is almost like, if it's only eight episodes, I'd rather they bring new blood in. Mm -hmm. Especially because Russell's returning and probably writing a lot of them yeah, as well. Yeah, I think, I think and maybe... And I, I feel like with Russell coming back, he's had enough time to change quite drastically as a writer in his writing style. Yeah. I feel like Moffat hasn't. Moffat hasn't had that time. No. So I don't know if he would offer anything new. I'm sure he has a thousand amazing ideas and I'm sure his episodes would be great and I would mm -hmm. love them. Um, maybe in like series 15 because um, mm -hmm. we know there's only going to be eight episodes. I, what I loved about the Chimalier was how much new blood there was in it and I think yeah. it made it really fresh and exciting for me after, you know, seven years of Stephen Moffat as much as I love the guy, you know, you kind of yeah. know what to expect from it at that point. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. But that being said, you know, if he doesn't have to think of like a big arc overall and stuff, it, it just kind of has like an episode or two. And me can maybe be reined in a bit as well with Russell sort of being like, no, yes, we need, he's going to have more of a writing team and stuff yeah. like that. I think you know those episodes always did shine. Um, so you know, I mean, I'm not going to say no, please don't, um, because he's fantastic and a very very good writer. Um, and I, I'm sure Russell will probably twist his arm one day. I think it's kind of inevitable. Yeah. Um, you know, Russell got the taste for Doctor Who again, writing it during the lockdown stuff that they yeah, did. And yeah, yeah. Stephen did do a few of those. Stuff, yeah. um, you know, even if he didn't like... I, I would love Russell and Stephen to co-write one together. I think that'd be great. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe that... I mean, I don't know how many of the episodes Stephen wrote during RTD one had, like, Russell's yeah. editing on it, because I know that a lot of the time he didn't want to be credited as yeah. like co-writer normally so, like showrunners will rewrite basically all the episodes in there yeah, um, yeah. so yeah I guess we'll see but maybe that's maybe that's part of the thing is with only with the first series only been eight episodes they need a quick turnaround maybe they were like look can you come back and write two episodes please we know you've got loads in the bag it'll be really quick for you to write in a couple of episodes yeah. we just need to get it done quick and get these scripts sorted so that we can then and then maybe there'll be newer stuff in the next series because they'll mm. have more time to prepare yeah. I would be pleasantly surprised if it is the case, at least for like this upcoming series, because mm -hmm. he's been doing the Unfriend before that. He had the Time Traveler's Wife in America. That yeah, he and he had the um, he had um, that one with David Tennant. Yes, in, in, on um, BBC. This not which a long has been renewed for another series, I think. Um, so, yeah, so yeah he's, he's I know which one you mean. Still out and about, you know. He's still so been doing a lot of work. He's still but... been active, so you know he might be, have been too busy to do it during in line with these rumours, but who knows when he wrote these. But again, they might be talking about it in rumours now because he's being approached for the next exactly, series. Exactly, yeah. Afterwards. So, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping, you know, I'd be more than happy to see him again. And I, I, I would be surprised if we don't while Russell is in charge again. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be very exciting, should it happen. Um, 
that with things as they are right now and with like the limited run for series 14 and stuff um, I would prefer New Blood, but I'm also not going to say no, because no. I, I love how that guy might stop to you. That's fair enough. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for rumours and official news. Um, the only other thing that's sort of happened in the past three months is the Doctor Who Lost Lost in Time mobile game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone else has been playing it. I play it on and off. It's fine. I haven't played it for weeks. You, you just you just tap. Um, it's It's very... It's very not bland it's got some nice deep cuts in there but it's very repetitive it is very much a mobile game where you can just sort of go on like you've got five minutes go oh yeah i'll just do this and then you go away again it can be quite addictive when you're like going but then when like time catches up with you and you can't do any more it's kind of like, oh, whatever. yeah you know maybe doctor who will come back to more video games i still would love a, a lego doctor who video game you know the lego dimensions uh, level they had years ago now uh 2014 no, when was Pete Capaldi's first series? That was 2014. 2014, 15, then I think it might it's be. It's probably 15 because Michelle Gomez's voice is in it. So yes, obviously. yes, there you go. So they probably wouldn't want to spoil that. No, yet. so, you know, that was, that worked really well, but who knows, with BBC being under, well, sorry, with Doctor Who being under Disney now, they might not work with TT Games, who are under Warner Brothers, and do that. Yeah, Disney but, not. But Disney, you know, they have... Now. They Disney have done all right with video games recently. They've had their Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is by all accounts doing quite well. Um, they've got a racing game coming out soon, which I think is, oh, I think it's already out actually, but who knows? Um, I'd always take more Doctor Who video games, and I'll take more Doctor Who novels as well. We've got a few Target novelizations coming out yeah. in the next couple of months, and I quite like the fact that some Doctor Who games are shit. <laughs> I, I think oh, yeah. it's charming. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't get very far on the Wii game at all. But I, I loved the um, DS game. Yeah, and I mean... Um, I loved the adventure games. I think and we, we both really enjoyed um, the Lonely Assassins yes, that uh, really mobile good. game recently. Yeah, that was great. And um, Edge, Edge, of, Edge of Time. Time or Reality. Slash Reality, reality but that one was fine. Um, I had a good time with that one. I had a bad time with um, but, you know. but I didn't get any glitches, so... Yeah. Yes. So, of course I, mean, I was going to have a better you know, time. I'm always up for more... I'm always up for more Doctor Who media. And even with Doomsday, I'm intrigued to see what it comes with. Because, you know, it's what I've been saying. I always want more Doctor Who media. I think just the way they've launched it... As long as it's actually consumable yes it's it's all it seems they've launched it as it's doctor light which i think is the problem when you're launching a doctor who thing i think you need to have yeah maybe the assassin you know maybe doom is trying to count the doctor's I got feel like 24 hours that should be maybe the have point. doom be in an episode in yeah. series 14 and yeah. then do doomsday yeah or have but, you know have something but yeah. i mean maybe we're wrong it could be that they come out with like three novels for it and it turns out they're the best doctor who novels they've ever written yeah i'm i'm happy to be proven wrong um but you know it is a 60th year. They've they've announced that there's going to be you know, loads of stuff coming. We have what seven months, almost to the day we're recording this on the 22nd of April. Almost to the day there's seven months till the 60th anniversary. Mm. So um, we might have already seen two of them by now in seven months. Well, exactly. I, yeah, we also still don't know exact air dates. Whether it's going to be 21, 22, 23. Whether it's going to be weeks apart. Whether it, the middle one's going to be the 23rd. The first one's going to be the 23rd. No idea what's going to happen. No idea if there's a Christmas special, or it if it's fe- why well, it's festive, isn't it? I don't think they've. I think they're kind of stopping short of confirming Christmas Day. Yeah, well, festive means that Christmas yeah. and New Year period, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but whether it's New Year or Christmas Day, it's like when you say holiday now instead of like Christmas. Day. Yes, well, I, I think I think uh, Russell's very keen for it to be a Christmas Day one. I think he's pretty much all but said that in like his Doctor Who magazine stuff, but I don't think they can confirm that until it's all confirmed with the head honchos. Mm-hmm. And they've also got the Disney the Disney Plus side to talk about. They might not want it going they might on, not Christmas want it on Christmas Day. Day. They might want yeah. it Christmas Eve so you can get the Christmas Day audience. Yeah. Um, so who knows? It all depends on who has uh, the most creative control. Um, but that is it, I think, for now, for news, news and updates. Mm-hmm. Um, for the foreseeable, again, who knows what happens? We're we going to announce something huge tomorrow. I mean, you never, <laughs> they might do. We, you know, it will be seven months. You never know. They might announce something huge tomorrow. We'll be back with a quick video then. But, um, you know, this stuff this week with with Chewie's new costume came out pretty pretty quick out of the blue, out of the blue. Um, hmm. so you never know what what might happen. There could be a plethora of news coming next week, or there could be nothing for three months. Yeah. Um, but either way, we'll be watching with curiosity and we'll constantly be campaigning for the Slovene to return. Always. Always the Slovene to return, please. Doctor Who officials tweet and tweet about <laughs> it. Uh, Russell did post about that little that little enamel pin recently. So <laughs> you never know. The, those, those green boys will be back soon. Even if they're just in the background. Oh, be nice to see. 
that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, they probably actually at this point they would probably need to make new costumes for them, which is why they need to have a yeah, whole story yes, themselves. Yes, and maybe we just set it on that score by the floor, so we just get uh, loads yeah. of different colours, Lily. Not but imagine, color. imagine if they didn't announce they were coming back. And someone oh. just starts unzipping their floor, oh. and you're like, oh my imagine god! In the first episode, you're like, oh. Like oh. spoilers for the end of series one of Sony Adventures, like when they start and like, holy yeah. shit, it's it's Lily, they're thin, they're thin. Oh, no. they've changed oh. that as well. Yeah, but that Doctor Who's be broken. I think that would be on par with 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 Captain Jack returning in series in twelve, 12, 12 yeah. in series twelve. I think because that was completely out of blue. Hmm. You know, I love it when Doctor Who does these surprise. We've kept this all under wraps until now. I like it and I hate it. I think when it's done well, like it was with Jack. Um, like it was with Kate in Flux, I think it works really well because like, oh my god, what? Um, but then when it's done, like if they're going to be on set filming on location, I understand you have to be like, here's this coming out. But when it's done with, am I going to come back to it? John Sims, oh look who's coming back at the end of series ten. It's John Sims. What the Don't thinking? look. Uh, so I think if they make it, if they make, if they own the reveal beforehand, great. But if if it's in the episode and it's completely out of blue. Because yeah. with that story, John Sim was on set on location yeah. Yeah. and no one saw him. Because he had the And they episode. still revealed it. Yeah. I don't know I don't know why I don't know why they did it. They could just imagine the so absolute stupid. reveal of that being him. Yeah. But it would have been even you know, I think I don't think I knew it was him in the actual episode itself because he was doing it. I knew you know, but only because I knew he was coming back. I wouldn't yeah. have if I had I think known. I I think I knew he was coming back, but I don't know if so I, I I was like, Oh, that's John Sim's voice. Yeah. But if I hadn't known, maybe, I wouldn't be. Maybe I was trying to mind. trick myself. That, oh, where is it? Especially because oh. we knew before the series started he was going to be in it, and like, well, this is the he last story it. of yeah, the series. He's yeah, going to yeah, be in this. Yeah. So you, you are yeah. looking out for him, I guess. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm very excited to see what else um, Doctor Who reveals. Um, we didn't speak about the Fortnite leaks, um, oh, yeah. which is the other stuff. Apparently, Doctor Who is coming to Fortnite again in again. the 60th, but in more of a sort of edgy I think, way, a, <laughs> if you will, a, a proper a proper a proper way where they'll have like an actual season pass where you can get themed stuff a beep the meat spray paint i think was one of them a tardis hang glider a unit gun yeah. um a sonic screwdriver pickaxe whatever it is and there was some there was a script leak for whatever they're doing for that where there was only a doctor called the edge doctor the implication from the writing i think is that that's david tennant because he does the what 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 thing um so maybe so that leads fresh. yeah that leans into the fact that maybe that's where this 14th doctor's come from is that because we saw that in power of the doctor how much yeah. does that factor in um we don't know but we also don't know how much of this fallout stuff is true also true. um especially the script i think the leaks of the of the screenshots of like the battle pass and stuff i can pretty much take that as probably that's true. there's definitely going to be some truth to it. so even like yeah. the doctor who four guys thing leaks like a month before yes months, yeah. yeah and you can like meta, meta, mind so data data mind data, yeah. yeah um so i can see that happening the screenshot stuff but the script i think is the only one that is maybe a bit wobbly on oh, me, but, no. <laughs> but it could be interesting you know I'll, I'm, I'm interested to see what it was but you know i don't want to have to pay play fortnite to be like oh, i'm so oh, bad at fortnite <laughs> That's why the one that they did recently with the museum was fine because I could just wander around, yeah, my, just around. my own my own and pace. I can just watch you walk around <laughs> exactly um, as many of you did. Um, but yes, I think that's it for Doctor Who news. We will be back. Uh, well, we'll be back at least next week with an episode review. I think it's a Power of Three, mm-hmm. which, funnily enough, is Kate Stewart's first episode. It is. How time. Um, but if there's anything else that breaks in the next couple of weeks, uh, next weeks before that, then we'll also be back for that one. Yes. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Goodbye. Bye.